CS2 sucks. Now, I know that statement might not come as much of a surprise to people. A game that's ridden with cheaters, has a very unfair ranking system, and terrible gameplay. Done 148 damage as a, like, a gun 163. Bro, that's what? a flashback. My name's a What? You know you're sweat when you hold in the gun. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I only hit that dude for 52. Are you kidding me? Might not surprise you, but it's getting so bad. What can we do? I mean, I haven't made a YouTube video in what? How long? And and even I am wanting to speak up on this because just playing the game today, it was so bad. It was one of the worst experiences I've had on a video game in years, maybe ever. And, and you're about to see why right here. Okay, here we are in round one of my most recent game. We're gonna start from my point of view. Uh, it was an incredible round one, and you're about to see why. Uh, I usually suck at pistol round, and what I was able to accomplish this round, I guess I just kind of was filled with confidence. Um, I push out, I get two quick kills, two of my teammates go down, uh, and like I said, just filled with confidence. I run up, get a kill there, knew where last guy was, take the peek and kill him. Great round one, right? Nothing out of the ordinary except for me popping off. Uh, but at the end of the day, nothing seems weird, you know? No one pulls off anything crazy. No one hits some crazy shots. And then let's go look at this guy, Blue, on the enemy team. Uh, El Ping Asasso. Not even going to try to say that again, but, you know, that's his name. Who cares? Anyway. Let's skip to around the time of this guy's first kill, shall we? It's gonna take a peek, maybe take a peek from mid and ooh, oh, oh. He's a savant. Let's go back to it. Feel like I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Let's even slow it down. See uh, a little. Oh, expert tracking. Oh, the tracking through the box. This guy hits aim labs every single day. He's pretty good with his 17,000 premiere rating. Let's see if he can clutch us. Oh! Oh, what a flick. But he he can't clutch it. Maybe, ultimately, he did get lucky. You know, let's just say, out of the blue, benefit of the doubt, this guy's been hitting his train aiming 24-7 over the past three weeks, and he's finally ready to bring it out in the CS game. Let's watch this round. Maybe he'll miss some shots. I don't I'm not sure what a great flashbang from a 17th that oh Wow, he locked onto me there got me with that kill Wonder what's gonna oh oh through the stairs really Wow, I didn't see him did you oh I mean come on do I need to say any more than this like come on How is this guy just freely playing in games? What happened to vac? It used to be like an expert level system. What is this? He doesn't even have a good aimbot. He's not even good with aimbot. How has this guy made it this far to where he's not even... Like, look at him tracking me through the wall, but he just doesn't peek to get the kill. He's not a good player, but somehow he's playing in 17,000 rating lobbies because he has aimbot. He doesn't know how to play the game, and it's so obvious. Look at this. What is he doing? He's a terrible player. He is horrible at the game. All right, next round comes up, and this guy wants vengeance. At this point, one of my teammates left because he wanted us to be able to surrender. I wasn't too happy with that because we ended up winning the next few rounds, but then he really toggled on. Um, so let's just watch it from here, shall we? Let's just see what he does. It's gonna take a quick peek and somehow know where that guy is perfectly and i end up killing him that's not the first time i killed him even though he was aimbotting but i did end up killing him eventually and then i died later on in this round let's go back to him in this next round let's see what he can do you know like we, we know at this point he's got aimbot <sighs> how is there a player that is so bad that 
even in his 17,000 rated lobbies with aimbot, he can't get a kill. How do you, how does your aimbot miss? I don't get it. How does it miss? It doesn't make any sense, but yet it happens and he he freely gets to play the game day to day. All right, and now let's go to what might be this guy's most egregious offense this game. Um these moments are kind of the ones because at, at this point we knew he was cheating, but it it wasn't anything concrete. These are the moments where we were like, all right, yeah, this guy's cheating for sure. Just watch. What? D what human is that? That is just straight up a robot. Like, th this is insane that this gets to play the game and somehow doesn't get flagged let's watch this one this is the ultimate round of okay come on now what are we doing here one headshot it's gonna take a peek on me oh oh another headshot through the wall oh and a third headshot this guy's really clicking heads skip to this round where this is the round before we surrendered and i think you'll see why if you watch the clip And he's just locking on to all of them. Peep me there, though. Hey, hold on. Let's switch to my POV so y'all can all see this. I pre-fired a wall and aim hacker. Thank y'all for uh, watching this demo of a cheater with me because I'm, I'm really glad that I can just watch this in front of my eyes. Look at this guy who is clearly cheating. And yet nothing will probably happen to him. How are we in... A stage of this game where vac has gotten worse how are we at this point where this guy can freely play get on tomorrow make people lose mmr and only gain mmr even though he is terrible at the game he is clearly no idea what he's doing uh i think we checked at the start he has like 250 hours on this account so clearly this is just some alt account that he got and ultimately he's gonna get banned What's he going to do? Just go on another account. Hacking is not the only reason that CS2 has been bad. Now, if you've spent any amount of time watching a CS YouTuber going through the CS reviews on Steam or even going through the CS Reddit, you will have seen the numerous amount of glitches, buggy games, laggy games, and everything else that is wrong with CS2. From a simple button press crashing the game at any moment to people just trying to run forward but keep getting rubber banded back this game has had problems since its release problems that ultimately have been there since release and aren't getting solved it's not like these new problems are coming up every once in a while although they are these are problems that have been in since the start of cs2 and somehow are just not getting fixed Valve is looking at these reviews, looking at all of this, and ultimately just saying, we don't care. I just hope that a day will come where Valve can look at this and be just so disappointed in what their game has become, but at the end of the day, they're always just going to look at the money that they're pulling in, and they won't really care what the gameplay is like, but for now... This game is terrible, and it cannot even hold a torch to what CSGO was as a game. Honestly, I don't know where Valve can go to fix this from here. The game is so far gone, it almost seems like they really just stopped caring. Like, it, it seems like they are genuinely just ignoring the complaints. I, I still have faith that somehow they're just not seeing them, but... Or, or maybe they're trying their hardest, but ultimately, how could a company that's doing what Valve is doing right now say they're trying their hardest? And the truth is, they can't. Because they're not. 
I know millions of people love this game, including me. And if we don't see a fix for this come in soon, will we see this game in the future? Like, will this game have a future? And honestly, I don't know. But if Valve doesn't do anything about this now, I could see CS2 going downhill very quickly. All right, this was a pretty new style video for my channel, but like I said, I felt like I just had to do something, make any video I could, and I inspire you to do the same, you know? We're not gonna get changed by just sitting around hoping that Valve will change. You know, people have to speak out and, and speak to them and email them and do whatever we can to get this change to come because ultimately, this game right now is unplayable. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If this is your first time viewing my channel, subscribe. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can make some more videos for you guys and I'll see you next time.